to walk out of a doctor and been told you've got MND, but no treatment or cure is just gutting. I didn't know anything about MND. I just knew that there was the big freeze and the beanies and that it sounded like a horrible disease and I just never even really thought about it. And then when it was a part of our lives, hearing no cure, no treatment means that there's nothing we can do about it. You just have to hold someone's hand and, and wait for them to get worse and it's terrifying. The first thing is that life is, is so precious and, and, and so unpredictable that you know things can happen literally one day to the next he's talking to a client and suddenly notices that his tongue has gone and your life has just changed in a, in a millisecond. As a parent you do anything for your children and you just can't in this case and it's just an awful feeling. You just feel useless and I can't describe what it did to us. We had a one-year-old at the start of this. You know, there's terrible diseases around, but there's, there's some hope. You know, there's always a, a, a drug. There, there, there's some hope of, of, of survival. But, but you, you get this diagnosis and you, you're literally told, we're sorry, you know, we'll provide you care and we'll provide support for your family, but that's, it's, it's just, it's terrible, yeah. You know, you, you just pray that every cent they're giving will eventually find that something. So since being diagnosed, I haven't worked. I've been spending my time with my family, uh, playing with Oliver, and I've really gotten into gardening. The day he was diagnosed, we were thinking which holidays we'd go on, which things we wanted him to be able to do with Oliver while he can. So his attitude this whole time has just been, these are the things I can do today. And from the minute he wakes up in the morning, he's gone. He's propagating succulents or riding 50Ks. He's just busy all day until bedtime. The thing I love about bike riding is being out in the fresh air. It keeps me fit and mentally um, in a good place. When people donate to fight MND, it just gives us a bit of hope that maybe Maybe in a few years, Woz will still be here and maybe there's a drug he can take that will make him be able to enjoy some more time with Ollie and me. To people who support Fight MND, I'd say a huge thank you. This is a really tough journey and disease and we need to find a cure. So if you're supporting FightMND, you're supporting me and everyone else. So thank you.